So many of you have asked, what do I do to maintain my FL Sun Super Racer Extruder to prevent issues from occurring in the future? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take off the PTFE tube clip, push that up, pull out the tube. Then we're gonna take the extruder off. Now this is very simple, it's just three screws and one wire. So we'll take Screws off for first. And what I do before I take the last screw off, I just unplug the wire in the back, just like that. And I take the last one off. Make sure you're holding the motor and the extruder. And there you have it. Here's the motor, here's the extruder. What I'll do next is go ahead, disassemble this, and show you how to clean it properly. All right, so now we're gonna disassemble the extruder. Don't be afraid, there's nothing in here that we can't put back together. So just take off the thumb screw. bring out the, the lever. Now we can just remove the back side. And again, these are just the screws. You can just get rid of those for now. Put those aside. So here we have it. There's not many parts in here. So first thing you want to do is pull out this little gear right here. Clean it off with a toothbrush or something. I always use that. And I always make sure to look closely at it to make sure there's nothing in the gears. And if there is, just remove it with a toothpick. Any leftover PLA or filament of any sort. Just do that and then just brush it away again. Now, while this is out, I wanna make sure that little set screw is tight. I check that every time I disassemble this, which is once a week, by the way. I do this procedure once a week just to make sure it's clean. If I weren't doing a video, it would take about, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe five minutes. All right, so we wanna make sure that little set screw is tight. So using this Allen wrench, just put it in there. And just make sure it's very, very tight, which it is. Then we go ahead, put it back in, the, in this area here. Put this in there like that. Like so. Then just put the top on. Put the thumb screw back in. There you have it. A working extruder. And a clean extruder. The next thing I'll do is if I won't, if I have any canned air handy, I'll spray it in here and just clean it out. Just make sure there's no debris in here. And that's about it. Then we'll put these screws back in. Then we'll get ready to install it back onto the Super Racer. All right, so now it's time to put the extruder back onto the printer. Again, just do the opposite of what we did moments ago. So we'll come over here, take the motor, put it in the back, take this. Now, when you put that back on there, just wiggle it around a little bit just to make sure the gears all line up. So once you have it all in there, let's tighten up one of these screws here. Not tight, tight, just a little tight, just to make sure everything's holding. 
And then then you can go ahead and make sure these other screws are secured in place. Do the third one. That's it. Now it's tight. Now we're gonna make sure it's extra tight. Tighten that up. Tighten that up. And tighten that up. We're gonna plug the wire back into the motor. We're gonna put the PFT tubing back in. Again, make sure it goes right up to the, the label there. Put our little white clip back in. And there you have it. So it's as easy as that to maintain the extruder so that it avoids any issues in the future. Keeping a clean extruder will ensure that everything is working smoothly down to the hot end. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is load the filament in. And I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned way in the beginning as to how not to get clogs in the extruder. I got a clog maybe the first couple of days after that. I learned how to do this and I haven't had a clog since. So just keep an eye on what I'm doing. So put that up there. Here's the important part right here. See this curve? We want to make sure that's exactly straight, as straight as you can make it. So just keep going like that. until it's straight. That's straight. Now we put it into the hole, the feed tube. See how straight that's coming out? Put it in the, the other tube for the extruder. Hit in. And you'll never have another clog in the extruder. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section. Thank you for watching and see you next time.